गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्निक्स ऑफ मेटेरियल साइंस और यू कैन कॉल इट इज ए नैनो केमिस्ट्री दैट इज स्कैनिंग टनलिंग माइक्रोस्कोप और यू कैन कॉल इट स्कैनिंग टनलिंग माइक्रोस्कोपी आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द अदर टेक्निक्स ऑफ द नैनो मेटेरियल्स दैट इज स्कैनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप that is same as well as in my last class i had discussed tem transmission electron microscope and you are very lucky that the students of some of the students of msc final they have visited the iit bhilai and they have seen some of the very sophisticated techniques like tem same and atomic coarse microscope also my dear young student this is particularly for msc fourth semester but i am very happy that some of the msc second semester students are also sitting because nowadays most of the research is based on material science or the characterization of different types of materials and this particularly the scanning tunneling microscope or microscopic system is one of the most important technique where that materials can be studied at atomic and molecular level i am not comparing here the same and same and other things but today i will particularly concentrate only on this scanning tunneling microscope now before i start my discussion i am very happy to share this information before you that in the year of 1986 three physicists awarded nobel prize for the study of microscope and like that and out of these three scientists this professor you all know that the discovery of this first electron microscope was developed by arnett ruska and then of course you know rest is the revolution and other things but the other two scientists one is dr gade beinin and rorar they actually when they were in ibm zurich switzerland they actually designed this scanning tunneling microscope or whatever it is scanning probe microscope so credit goes to these two scientists for this scanning tunneling microscope i'll explain why it is called scanning tunneling microscope and what is the basic difference between the scanning electron microscope and scanning tunneling microscope and uh, you are all know about the quantum mechanics and other things so one of the basic fundamental behind this uh, scanning tunneling microscope is the quantum mechanical tunneling effect i will explain that what is quantum mechanical tunneling effect now as you know that the characterization there are many 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 methods available i am not discussing the x-ray diffraction and other things i am only concentrating on the microscopic technique so basically that microscopic technique can be divided into two important branch or classification one is called is electron microscope where we use that some electron gun or whatever source of the electron and second scanning probing microscopy 
where we not use the electron but rather we use a, a, a one type of probe or a needle or tip so that is called the scanning probing microscope and most common electron microscope is same and tin i have already discussed in my classes scanning electron microscope and transmission electron microscope now again you have to study all these technique in this semester but today as i already told you that again scanning probing microscope can also divided into two part so there are some similarity there are some dissimilarities also one is scanning tunneling microscopy today's topic and second is the scanning force microscope and atomic force microscopy comes under the scanning force microscopy so there is some similarity between the scanning tunneling microscope and atomic force microscopy here is again there is a tip and there is a sample but here in atomic force microscopy we do measure the interaction between that tip and that sample surface there may be electrostatic force magnetic force wonderwall force whereas in scanning probing microscope and scanning tunneling microscopy again there is a tip and the surface when that tip is brought to very near that surface and we apply certain bias voltage so we monitor the tunneling current and that tunneling current is actually called quantum mechanical tunneling current that means you, you, you know that there is a barrier type of things current passes from this normal it is very difficult so i have to reach from this place to this place there is a hill so tunnel you all know and if I, you know the nature of the electron is is wave nature of the things so tunnel is is a, is a, is a common language suppose i make a tunnel tunnel here this is a tunnel suppose so such type of things is called the i will explain what is actually tunneling current and by monitoring that tunneling current we can image that topography and other so it is a most advanced Uh, techniques scanning tunneling microscope we can go up to atomic level 0.1 nanometer 0.01 nanometer like that and uh, uh, any types of materials can be studied of course in the scanning tunneling microscope whereas in but some there are certain limitations actually in in scanning tunneling microscope uh, we use uh, conductive material semiconductors like that but for biological samples and organic polymers and other times we do use atomic force microscope you have seen in the iit vilai there is they have atomic force microscope they don't have that scanning tunneling microscope most of the physics laboratory they are having such type of scanning uh, scanning tunneling microscope but for ceramics and other type of things we can use that atomic force sample preparation is uh, both the cases are simple but very simple in the atomic force microscopy but bear in mind today i will concentrate only on scanning tunneling microscope sometime it is called stm st okay you can see it somewhere but i think this time some focusing is required So as you know, this is my habit that whenever I I teach any any subject, whether in MSc second semester or even in fourth semester or even in research work, I give some of the latest information, very latest information about that subject. I always uh, refer of the latest, like ACS Nano is a wonderful art, wonderful research journal, American Chemical Society Nano, and uh, it is published in 2024. You see. very recent article now what is the problem is that in normal cases there is only two thing one is that scanning probe tip and that surface and of course atomic resolution magnification is very high in the atomic level 
but nowadays actually people are using some artificial intelligence and machine learning and other things although this was discovered in long back 1986 or 1981 but recently people are working for uh, using some mathematical model and uh, some machine learning for uh, improvement of this technique so it is a very important technique so you can see the image of uh, different types of thing i have taken from this say, journal acs and similarly uh, it is also very old paper old research paper if you want to learn complete a this is really this is really a key invention of nano science you see is a one of the most important invention in the nano science and it is used in the basic and applied fields understanding the matter nanoscopic and even atomic levels and they, you know that there is a sharp tip i'll i'll show you the uh, block diagram and other things and it is also published in nature review so there are i think thousands of research papers are available you can refer some of the research papers and in addition to that i i generally i refer some of the physical chemistry book in some of the uh, derivation or uh, concept i use uh, physical chemistry atkins you can refer the physical chemistry atkins some of the concept of that uh, scanning probe microscope so what is the first definition you know that scanning probe microscope is a advanced microscopic technique always i i should say it is a advanced microscopic technique and we use a sharp probe i'll also explain what is the composition of that probe whether it is iridium titanium or tungsten what type of metallic needle you can call it because sometimes resolution is also depends upon that the quality of that probe and the distance between this probe and that sample so it can measure the surface features of the specimen sharp nano scale tip interacts with their that sample overall surface probe microscope is a very advanced tool for nano electronic characterization and it is widely used in both industrial fundamental research for atomic scale and image of the metal surfaces that is the application of this things now actually it it produces high definition image of a surface and there are two when i will explain the how it works then i will i will i will explain that there are two technique one technique is that we fix the probe and moving the sample or we fix the sample moving the probe so there are one is called the constant current mode another is the constant z mode so basically just it is, a, it is an example suppose this is this is our surface side and it is in the probe like that so the probe is having a very sharp apex the resolution of is determined by the apex of the probe and uh, of course it must be very very sharp and the composition is it may be tungsten or platinum or iridium type of things so when we apply this probe and drop is brought very near to that surface and we apply certain voltage so then there is a current between this probe and that sample so we need some scanner so in this particular microscope we use a you all know about this piezoelectric ceramic type of scanner there again there are three types of composition is also there they actually scan that current and then of course you know that there is a computer system that is called the feedback tool amplify this current is very small but we can amplify that current 
and convert it into image and like that. So that is the normal normal procedure of these things. Now, why this the microscope? Why this microscope is important? Because you know that that day also we have seen that pain cost is very high, and we also seen the same at IIT Bilai. Then uh, there was a limitation that uh, we cannot determine the three D image in ten. But here, of course, we can use the three D image. So it is a non-destructive technique, high spatial atomic resolution, and any types of material, insulators, semiconductors, conductors, magnetic, transparent or opaque materials can be studied. And real 3D imaging. This is very important. Real 3D imaging picture can be shown, and it can work in air, in liquid, or as well as the very ultra high vacuum. You know, I have taken this information from, and sample preparation is also minimal from a. a the web uh, google materials so these are the some characteristic of the scanning pro microscope so my suggestion is that student must prepare a small notes on the importance of this uh, microscope as well as some demerits of this technique also there are one or two type of demerits now i have already told you that this basically the types of scanning pro Because in both the cases we use a probe. Both the cases we use a probe. In in at my first we use a cantilever, and and in SPM is a direct probe type of the things. So again, I'll concentrate on. To, I'll not explain the atomic force microscope. I'll only explain the scanning tunneling microscope. Now there are. Many pictures available in the website. My student, uh, research scholar Dr. Abhishek Katendra, has prepared this uh, schematic diagram. Of course, we have prepared on the basis of some literature. It is a very, very, very common rough diagram. You can understand uh, the things, the basic difference between this scanning tunneling and atomic force microscope. Basically. There are two part. You see, here is also that tip. Here is also a tip. But here there is a cantilever spring. Deflect the so there is a spring, a atomic force microscope. Here there is also a piezoelectric cylinder composition of lead, titanium, or like that. And there, but here they are using very high laser beam, and then. There is a detector also there. No tunneling current. Only detector there. But here you see, if it is a sample, there is a piezoelectric cylinder. It is a scanner. Here is the tunneling current. And that tunneling current is actually in between this sample and here, because the current. Passes through that. That is the things. Barrier means suppose very thin things. In classical mechanics, it can't intervene these things. But in quantum mechanics, that is called the tunneling effect. They just like the, they can tunnel and and that tunneling current is most important thing. And how do I monitor this tunnel uh, tunneling current? By measuring, by adjusting the distance between the sample and the tip, and there is a formula. I will explain that formula. What is the formula between this uh, energy, uh, that uh, current, and that distance? That is very important. Distance between these two things. So either you fix that sample, you monitor the tip, or Fix the uh, tip. You change the sample. I will come to that point, and then of course that can be monitored, mapped. Actually, here we can we are using the terminology is mapping of that image. That is the point of the 
and uh, when the tip brought very close to the sample the electrons tunnel across the intervening space and of course some bias voltage is there external voltage very simplest method i am taking from the literature which is the uh, very simple and anybody any student can understand these things so as i have already discussed uh, with you that these two scientists that time they are in ibm jury they actually first performed that experiment using that scanning tunneling microscope that time it was a very big type of things and they prepared the first instrument to produce atomic scale real space image of the surface that is the important thing now again i am taking that there are large number of very nice images are available in the literature i am taking that image from one internet article i think it is published in nano science maybe techniques and this is a 3d render scanning tunneling microscope image of the atom you see now the working the last part of this thing because uh, you know that uh, it is a very big uh, concept but when you see your course content you have to you have to study all this technique so my suggestion is that you must write the schematic diagram of all those technique their advantages the difference between same and same difference between i of course i am talking about for the examination point of view difference between afm and spm and some of the very simple working principle without deriving any derivations okay so simple working principle i have already discussed there are three important part first part you know that a needle sometimes it is called needle sometimes it is called tip or it is a probe second is that tunneling current which is very important and i have already explained the things what is tunneling current tunnel quantum mechanical effects and scanner which can scan that image that is called the piezoelectric effect and third is you know that there must be some correlation between that tunneling current image so naturally some electronic based loop is required that is called, sometimes it is called the feedback loop amplifying the current conversion of the image like that so basically there are three part one is tip second is the how you maintain the current some external electrical voltage very small i will show you the exact values of these things then of course the piezoelectric effect or piezoelectric sometimes it is called piezoelectric cylinder sometimes it is called the piezoelectric tube like that and last is the feedback loop so you know that this is the simple formula of the tunneling current and you do agree with me that there is a relationship between the tunneling current and the distance this d distance between the tip and that sample and this v is the is of course that is also very important because if you want to maintain the distance between the tip and the sample voltage external voltage plays a very significant role because it just uh, different types of atoms as they are in the surface and on the basis of this distance and tunneling current you will get the structure and c is the constant and d is the as i told you that this this is very important the distance between the probe and the sample and tunneling originates from the wave like properties of the electrons because you can call that when 
that tip when that tip is brought very near to the sample or surface and we applied some bias voltage electron tunnels from one object to another object and here one object to another object means object one is tip object two is surface that is the things so tunneling is a process that explain electron flow or electron tunnel across two objects of differing electric potential probe and sample when a voltage is applied between probe surface electrons will flow across the gap it depends upon the surface structure is depends upon the things and generating the measurable current and that is scanned by that piezoelectric material i will show you the piezoelectric materials there may be three types of materials again i am taking all this information from this libra text and if you want to learn much more thing everything is available in books i have taken some part from atkins some part from the uh, literature now you see that it is very low pico ampere or nano ampere level but can be monitored using the amplifiers otherwise it is very difficult to measure this so very very small type of the current so a 3d piezoelectric scanner you know the what is piezoelectric effect with an electronic feedback loop is used to raster the probe across the sample to obtain the topographical image and monitor the tunneling current as i have already told you that you can adjust the voltage so that the position of the probe can be controlled now what is that piezoelectric scanner it is the combination of lead zirconium and titanate again there is a principle because if i consider one is z1 one is z2 and the zt their dipole moments may be different so when we apply the voltage so their characteristics may also change so there are type three type of observation can be uh, three type of dipole moments generated so each scanner respond differently one is suppose lead another is zirconium tio3 there are different types of material but most of the cases they are using this lead zirconium tio3 it is called pzt so each scanner respond differently to applied voltage because of the differences in the material properties and particularly dipole moments i am not mention here the dipole moments and dimension of the each piezoelectric element so now the last part that uh, how you monitor these things so there are two modes one is uh, constant current mode and second is the constant z mode now in constant current mode i have taken from the atkins physical chemistry oxford university they have given all other information also atomic force microscopy scanning uh, of course new edition of the atkins there is a, a special chapter for the solid surfaces for the msc final year students they can go through the atkins so because i am a physical chemist so i must know some of the diagram is also important but some physical constant is also important so in constant current mode in the constant current mode the probe tip moves up and down according to the topography of the surface that is of course it depends upon the atomic scale mapping the vertical motion of the tip is achieved by fixing it piezoelectric cylinder because a tip that is a cylinder like that x1 x2 x3 whatever it is and the tip so current is fixed one case in the constant z mode the vertical position of the tip is held constant and the current is monitored not it is 
M O N I spelling mistake monitored. The tunneling probability is depends on again there is a problem because I have already typed all these things. So the tunneling probability is depend on size of the gap. That is the most important part because here is actually current things are there. So this microscope can detect very tiny, very small atomic scale variation in the height of the surface. Last is that everything is there. You apply voltage. You use piezoelectric cylinder is also there. You vary the size of the distance between tip and the surface. Now how you monitor that image? How you monitor that image? So we need some electronics devices in order to know the STM image. So. Second, measurement of the tunneling current, scanning the tip and translation of that information. So, of course, we need some electronic loop and other electronic device or computer and other things. So, a feedback loop monitors this tunneling current and according to the size of that sample and the atomic structure, figure out, adjust the tip. Because if we take copper sample, their atomic configuration is different. If I take gold, maybe different. If I take other type of semiconductor material, their structure is different. So depending upon this structure, there is an adjustment between that tip and sample. And that adjustment can be recorded by the computer and presented as an image in the upper software and other things is also there. That is the general principle of this scanning tunneling microscope. I am just again there are I, as I told you that there are many type of images are available. So I search the images and I found one of one paper scanning tunneling microscopy of metals and semiconductor. If I have not seen any name and other things, then I have seen the the link. It may be some American university, you know, US university from physics department, and uh, they have studied at least 15 metals and semiconductors, large number of figures, structure are available, but I have taken only one or two, like gold structure. You see, gold it depends on the different. Here is 110 type of the structure is different. Here is 110, one, here is 100. Zero, zero. Green colored atoms are the top rows. An STM image of gold reconstruction, like that. the image shows several eras of atomic rows. A exact structure can be monitored and can be interpreted. STEM image of molybdenum surface is 111, a zoom in STM structure. That what I mean to say, that means any complicated structure at the atomic level can be studied with the help of this very important uh, microscope which is called scanning tunneling microscope. Thank you very much.